Hi everyone, welcome to Narish Technologies. This is Srinivas. So, in the previous sessions, right, so we discussed about patterns and this is the continuation ses session, right, how to print pattern and here it is we will discuss one pattern, right. See, in you know, most of the interviews, so they will ask this pattern, it is a bit important. Suppose this is the console, this is the console. So, I want to print a pattern like this, so, 1 star, 3 stars, 5 stars, 7 stars like that. So, totally on the console, on the console, on the black screen. So, horizontally, generally, so we can print 80 characters maximum, 80 and vertically 25 lines of code that is not that much important because we can scroll down. But here it is, uh, so maximum width is used to print uh, only 80 characters. So, here now we need to print at the 40th character, so nothing but a C by 2 consider. So, if you want to print this star, here we need to print uh, 39 spaces, here 39 spaces we need to print when, when i value equals to 1. It is representing number of rows and next one whenever i value is 2, 38 spaces we need to print here and here it is a 37 spaces and here it is a 36 spaces, 36. Here it is i value is increasing, i equals to 2, i equals to 3, i equals to 4, depends on the specified number of rows depends on specified number of rows. Here, so first 1 star we need to print, next 3 stars, next 5 stars, next 7 stars, next 9 stars like that, right. How many rows sir? Here we, we just read how many number of rows. For example, in the main function, so we are declaring one variable n n and here it is we are reading. So, directly I am writing just a read n value. Here you have to write a printf and scanf, right. Just in the form of a flowchart directly I have written n. Now, how many number of rows that they already specified n number of rows. So, outer for loop should repeat n times i value starts with 1, i is less than or equals to n i plus plus. Sir, suppose consider n value 5, so i value, i value repeats 5 times, so once one more row, one more row. So, here it is a 35 spaces we need to print, 35. So, outer loop repeats a n times, nothing but 5 times it will repeat. So, as usual, so one for loop is used to print spaces, j value j is less than or equals to j plus plus. Next one, this is used to print spaces, printf, here we are writing space and next one more for loop, followed by we are writing second for loop, k, k is less than or equals to k plus plus and this is used to print stars, this is used to print stars. And once first row printing has been completed, so directly we are sending control to the next line, printf with the help of a slash n we are sending the control, this is the program. Now we need to fill what is the initial value here, what is the condition, here what is the initial value, what is the condition. Spaces condition is very easy, how sir, see, here c value is a 80, c value is a 80. So, first here it is a 39 spaces we need to print, 39 spaces means observe here, c by 2 value is a 40, c by 2 value is a 40, see here it is i value is increasing gradually 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and the number of spaces we need to print value is decreasing gradually 39, 38, 37, 36, 35, right. See here it is a c by 2 minus i if you use this formula to print spaces. Here it is a first 40 minus i, whenever i equals to 1, i equals 1, number of spaces is a 39 spaces because 40 minus 1, whenever i value is a 2, here it is a 38 spaces. 
so like that it will go so spaces logic is very easy here it is j value starts with 1 j is less than or equals to c by 2 minus i what is the logic c by 2 minus i so nothing but 39 sir we need to declare all these variables i j k c value initially 80 because how many number of i mean how many number of characters we can print in a single row of the console so total 80 characters we can print so based on that so directly we are taking it as a constant variable sir directly i will use a 40 no problem but i am following some of the rules okay so here so space is printing logic is over next stars printing logic stars sir how to print stars first one star next to three stars next to five stars next to seven stars and nine stars so that is simply base numbers logic right i mean odd number logic even number logic are there so suppose this is a odd number logic odd numbers logic is a either 2k plus 1 or 2k minus 1 sir when we use a 2k plus 1 so when i value starts with a 0 2k plus 1 we are using when i value starts with a 1 we use a 2k minus 1 1 2 3 and so on 0 1 2 3 and 1 2 3 suppose if i value 0 substitute 2 into 0 0 plus 1 so first value is a 1 next i value 1 here it is a 2 into 1 2 plus 1 3 next whenever i value 2 2 into 2 4 4 plus 1 5 here it is it will give the values according to this one and starts with a 0 the values it will produce 1 3 5 7 and so on and this one also same story whenever i value starts with a 1 i mean sorry k value starts with a 1 sorry k value here k value here i am writing according to the program here it is a k value starts with a 1 just consider 1 here it is k value 2 into k k value is a 1 2 into 1 is a 2 minus 1 is a 1 next whenever k value is a 2 2 into 2 4 4 minus 1 3 next 2 into 3 is a 6 6 minus 1 is a 5 so we use either we can go for this formula or we can go for this formula when k value starts with a 0 and k value starts with a 1 now this is completely based on our i value initially i value starts with a 1 so we should go for second formula that is k value k value starts with a 1 k is less than or equals to 2 into i minus 1 in the first iteration i equals to 1 i equals to 1 so here k value starts with a 1 2 into 1 is a 2 minus 1 right so 2 minus 1 is a 1 so only one star it prints in the first row next in the second iteration i value is a 2 now 2 into 2 is a 4 4 minus 1 is a 3 3 stars it will print next whenever i value is a 3 2 into 3 is a 6 6 minus 1 is a 5 after printing the stars anyway it will send the control to next line so no need to take care of a right side part because here it is every time we are using slash n we are sending the control to next line right side logic no need to take care of that so first one star three stars five stars seven stars nine stars right so this is a pattern how to print a triangle of stars on the console using for loop this much easy only right some of the formulas that already we know in a maths the same formulas we are using in the same way instead of printing stars just try if you print i values or if you print j values right so what are the values it will print and instead of using this one some of the patterns also there here it is in this session we are discussing only how to print stars but how to print different types of numbers how to print different types of triangles also that you can try okay so for more videos please subscribe to narishati channel thank you